Hey y'all, so this is going to be part two of Matthew 7. We went over the other day, uh, Matthew 7, 21, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will make it into the kingdom of heaven, except for him who does the will of my father who is in heaven. So I wanted to um, establish that the kingdom of heaven that it's speaking of is not like making it to heaven when you pass, but a kingdom of heaven is now. And that is dwelling within you, the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit comes that power and authority in which the, the kingdom of heaven is. And you will receive that power and authority when the kingdom of heaven comes within you with the Holy Spirit when you are obedient to Yahweh's commands. So if you have not seen that video, I will uh, put it in the description below. So you need to go watch that first. Now that we've established what the kingdom of heaven is, we're going to move forward to verse 22. So let's get to it. Verse 22 reads, On that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name and drive out demons in your name and do many miracles in your name? And then I will announce to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you lawbreakers. Okay, so in verse 21, we understand the ending of that verse is that not everyone's going to receive the kingdom of heaven except him who does the will of his father in heaven. And we know that that is keeping the commandments of Yahweh. That is the will of Yahweh. I established that in the previous um, video. So verse 22, there has been an obvious shift because Yeshua now is speaking of a future reference because he begins the sentence with on that day. <laughs> um so we understand now that he is speaking in a future reference. And that future reference that he is speaking of is three different works of faith. But they are not works that you can do without that faith. And that's casting out demons, miracles, and even prophesying. If you do not have faith in the name of Yeshua, these things are not going to happen for you. Yes, you can have faith in Yeshua enough to know that he's your savior. These are works that Yahweh does through your belief in him. If you don't believe these things can happen, they're not going to happen. Every man, scripture says, is given a measure of faith. And to him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the faith that works within you. Every man has a measure. And obviously that scripture is talking about here is in, in these examples is a man that has been given measures of faith that they can do these, um, well, that they don't do them, that Yahweh performs these miracles, signs and wonders because of their faith. Scripture also tells us that faith without works is dead. You stop there. You have to continue on and that is keeping the commands of Yahweh. And he tells us that in verse 21, where he says, not everyone will receive the kingdom of heaven unless it's he who does the will of his father in heaven. Now, being obedient to Yahweh's word, this is what the will of, the, of Yahweh is. Now, there's a balance that's needed. It's not just works because Romans 2.13 tells us that it's not just the hearers of the word. Not just those who believe and have faith, but those who do the will of Yahweh, who do the word, who do the law, that are deemed as righteous before him. Now, we understand also that faith without works is dead. Again, balance needed, faith and works. The young prince who came and said, you know, Master, what do I need to do to make it into heaven? Yeshua goes over the Ten Commandments, and he's like, I've done these my whole life. And then Yeshua says, well, then sell off everything that you own and follow after me. And that is belief in him and works. He's telling you to do both, and he, you will receive um, everlasting life. And that's what we're looking for and, and the hope uh, that we obtain and salvation is that we will receive everlasting life through obedience and belief in Yeshua and obedience to Yahweh's will, his commands. Another example that Yeshua has given to us that faith and works go together 
is when he states that man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the Father's mouth. When he did communion, he said, take, eat, this is my flesh that I give to you. The bread alone, that, that was the bread that he gave to them and he made that statement. Bread alone is belief in Yeshua. But by every word, that's the commands, that's your scriptures. Everything that came out of that is what we are to live by, as well as bread. Man can't live by bread alone. You can't live by the belief in Yeshua alone. You have to also have the word of Yahweh and be obedient to that word, and it is not burdensome. Scripture says that Yahweh will use whom he will to accomplish his purpose, and an example of that, he used a donkey. So, who are we to say what he will and will not do? What is laid out before us is that faith and works go together. You can't have one without the other. If you want to have eternal life, and that is on that day that Yeshua was speaking of. You have to have both. You have to have obedience. You cannot live on faith in Yeshua alone. Through my studies, what I have seen is where it talks about um, John rebuking the men that were casting out demons and were not walking with Yeshua. And, you know, John rebuked them and Yeshua then turned and said, don't do that. If he's not against us, he's for us. So um, this, is, this is where it comes in. You have Christians that understand the belief in Yeshua and they cling to that. And you've got some that have, have you know, that, that has immeasurable faith where they're able to go out and Yahweh use them and, and do these miracles and these signs and wonders. But you are lacking, my friend, if you are not being obedient to the word of Yahweh, you are to keep his commandments so that you can have eternal life and that you're just not out doing the works of Yahweh but that you were doing works for your eternal life, your eternal salvation, okay? And this is what Yeshua wanted to make point in, in his um, parable, is that you can do all these mighty works in, through your faith because it's Yahweh that does them, not you. But you are lacking if you are not doing the will of your Father who is in heaven. And that was the ending of verse 21. So we have, to, we have to keep them in context, verse 21 and 22 of Matthew 7. Okay. Yeshua then goes on to say in that last verse, Get away from me, you lawbreakers. You have to be obedient to the, to the commandments of Yahweh. If you are not keeping the commandments of God, begin to keep them and allow the fullness of Yahweh to come upon you with his Holy Spirit, with that authority and the kingdom of heaven and, and all that. But if you were not being obedient, it is not given to you yet. And, and that's scripture, you know, I mean, that, that's not my opinion. That's scripture. Yeshua goes on from 24 to 27, and he tells us the man who acts on what he's saying is a man who built his house upon the rock and the storms come and winds blow and he is stable because he has the Holy Spirit. He's not wavering. But the man who does not act on them is like a man who built his, hand, uh, his house on the um, sand. And his house wavers when the wind comes. And, and the fall is great. So that Holy Spirit that comes and dwells within you, the kingdom of Yahweh, it stabilizes you. And um, you need both faith and works, guys.